Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today we have some King Oscar sardines, some saltine crackers, and we're talking about how music makes the moment. So lads and lasses out there in the internet, this is a very special treat. Sardines, King Oscar sardines, not just any sardines, King Oscar wild-caught sardines in olive oil, of course. This meal is very nostalgic to me because my father and I used to have these on rare occasion when I was a kid. And if you grew up eating sardines or any special kind of like smoked fish, anything like that, you know, you know how good it is and you know how once in a while having this can bring you back to places that you'd love to be. <laughs> so uh, let's try to open this without too much of a mishap here. They are filled with oil, so I don't want to get oil all over my uh, table here. Perfect, perfect. Check these bad boys out. Perfectly packed, perfectly sized. There's the olive oil. Smells fishy, but I mean, they're fish. And they're technically raw, although they're canned, so I mean, they're cooked to some extent. And uh, sardines are basically just... Sorry about that. Sardines are basically just small fish. I mean, you eat fish every day, right? Basically... Of all basic, basic things you could eat, these are probably one of the most healthiest things ever. And they're delicious. They are. You should really try them. I mean, get over your phobia of just eating fish and try them out. Check that out. And the whole thing, head and tail, can be eaten. I mean, there's nothing... The bones are soft because they've been canned, so I mean, there's nothing in there except for calcium uh, fresh omega-3s and fish oil. Oh yeah, guys, these are so good. A lot of people like to put these on like toast or some form of sandwich. But in my opinion, the way I grew up, the way I was raised, just a saltine will do. And they're very soft, right? Very soft. They break apart quite easily. No chewy texture. In my opinion, if you're going to try any sardine as a starter sardine, make sure you get King, o King Oscar because they have a very distinct smoky flavor to them. In that olive oil, it's just, just a divine experience. It's like caviar, guys. This is like a, a poor version of caviar. That's what it is. And it's not even a poor version of caviar. It's, it's just a totally complete different experience. And if you get one too big like this, you can kind of break it up into halves. Um, I like to try to get the whole thing on there, though. But, I mean, you know, a chunk is a chunk. You do have to be aware of the oil, because if you spill the oil or uh, get it on something, it's going to permeate that object and make it smell very fishy for a long time. So, uh, you know, just try to stay clear of dumping that in your trash and letting it sit there for a couple of weeks. And definitely don't spill it on the carpet. 
that's a big no-no that um, has happened once or twice a long time ago. <laughs> It's definitely one of those foods that you have to like <clears throat> kind of get used to but once you do it's fantastic absolutely fantastic I mean canned fish is not that um, I don't know that obscure a lot of cultures eat canned fish you know Okay, but today's topic, music makes the moment. And what I mean by that is like, when I'm gaming or when I'm relaxing or when I'm driving or basically doing anything and I have some music playing, there's a different genre for each of those situations. And a different genre gets you in the kind of the mood for doing that activity. <laughs> the mood. Um, but <laughs> regardless, guys, it's amazing how much music can affect uh, how you go about doing something or how you act in a certain situation. For example, when you're gaming or doing workout activities, you like a high tempo, high pumping beat, uh, deep bassy music. But when you're driving, you know, generally you tend to work towards more happy or calming or relaxing music kind of the music you favor in a low middle range and then when you're trying to you know chill out relax you like that soft BGM or whatever you enjoy to chill your stress out and it's just amazing guys like think about how music affects your everyday life it's incredible it's just simply incredible let me know in the comments how you uh, use music to affect your training, your gameplay, your life, your uh, your work, maybe. It's just really cool. I, I got to thinking about that today, and it's just a very interesting topic to me. Maybe not to you so much, but you can get into it, right? Music. All right, this one kind of broke apart here a little bit. Just get a little bit of chunk on there. I'm sure someone out there will go, "Ew, what are you eating?" Um, but you're just you're just not um, initiated to the art of sardining. Yes, it's a term, sardining. I hope you're enjoying your day, guys. Because um, this meal right here just kind of made mine, you know. Ooh, look at that oil shine. Ooh, shiny olive oil. This right here kind of, you know, completes my day. Gives me a, a wind down to a long and busy day. Check out the size of this baby. Oh, he's like a finger. Try to get some of that oil off. I wonder what kind of music I would use when eating sardines. For me, rather than go with an elegant dinner music, I think I would go with some heavy German rock metal. 
I don't know why. That just seems like what it would fit to me with this meal as I'm munging out to some sardines to some hard German rock. We'll do one more here, and then uh, the rest We'll save, or give to my wife. Beautiful, beautiful. So healthy. All right, guys. Well, that ends this beautiful dinner. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Remember to game, eat, and discuss. And uh, try some sardines of your own, guys. Later.